Unless this space, it, there's always been little buzzwords out there. You know, when you start talking about affordable housing, people think you're talking about low-income housing. And I'm, what I was saying, affordable housing, I mean, is something that whatever you're making that you could afford to buy, but that's not what it meant. The, the truth of the matter is that cities are just symptomatic of what's going on all around them. And because they're larger, that's why it is uh, personified more. I mean, you go to a rural county, they have drug problems, they have homeless issues, they have unemployment issues, they have all the same issues that you have in the city. But it's because it's not as big as the city, then nobody sees their issues as big. And now the first tier suburbs are having problems like with deteriorating houses and how to tear down houses and what to do with vacant land and, and, and the rising cost of trying to take care of older infrastructure. But those are the issues that the cities have always dealt with. And so now they've just moved the problems out further. What I well, I mean, the foreclosure and the, the, and, the, and the mortgage crisis uh, also breeds the abandoned properties, uh, properties that, the nuisance properties that we have to try to tear down, which also increases the crime. Then you have the renters, the renters who are paying rent, and then they're, they're, the people that own the building, uh, aren't, they, they're in foreclosure. So now you immediately you have displaced people even down to animals. Sometimes the people leave the animals, so we have to deal with that because uh, that's another additional burden. Then, uh, the other, on the other hand, you also have the people who are making the mortgage payments, but they can't afford to fix up their houses, so then the cities are charging them with housing inspection violations. So, I mean, there are a lot of consequences that are happening. The property values are going down. Who would have thought that the American dream of a home would devalue? So what's my other means of transportation when we're talking about gasoline that's four and going to probably go as high as five or six dollars before it even levels. But yet, we're cheaper than in Europe. But the fact is, can my citizens who are making a minimum wage afford to get to work? Uh, that's a problem. Uh, because the young people nowadays want to live, work, and play in the same area. They don't need to do all that commuting. Young people say that there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do in Dayton, Ohio, that a young person or a young professional would like to do. So we've been including them in some of our focus groups and saying, what do you, what, what do you want to do? What can we do to uh, make you want to stay here or, or at least uh, prolong your uh, college life to be around?